Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today, we are going to look at several variations of park industry inserts and a couple of lighters and then a special appearance by the unmarked World War II era crackle paint lighter that we did a video on a couple weeks ago. So we'll go ahead and start with Storm King. I've done videos on Park before and talked about how they started in Springfield, Illinois and moved to Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I don't believe I have mentioned except for maybe one video that Park made Storm King lighters. So you have a vintage Storm King lighter chances are you pull that insert out it's going to say Park Sherman Park Industries however it was that they were being stamped at the time Storm King was made by Park now this is an aluminum case and this insert is, I believe, plated steel. A lot of park inserts are aluminum. So this may not be the original insert to this case, to this lighter. Now, this pipe insert was in a junk lighter that the hinge was all busted up on. And I've had it sitting in there wanting to do something with it for a while. I just hadn't had the opportunity or uh, a lighter to put it in. So, I thought we would go ahead. I haven't cleaned it up yet. I haven't done whatever I'm going to do to make it work. It's uh, The flint tube on it is still obstructed. But as you can see, that pipe insert will fit into the Storm King lighter interchangeably with no problem. If you like watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you are watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button, send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. So the other actual Storm King lighter that I have here, I found in a lot of lighters that I had bought, basically just for one other lighter that was in the lot. But this is very interesting to me. Storm King windproof lighter, they both say. So the same company, both full-size lighters, but I believe that case is aluminum as well. It's very light. 
there are parked cases um, that are very made out of a very heavy gauge metal. But this insert is what got my attention more so than the actual case of the lighter. You can see the insert on this side says windproof there on the windscreen. Or Storm King I meant to say. And I had seen them in pictures but this is the first time that I'd actually encountered a park insert where the information is printed on the front spine of the insert. Which of course made me think of the video that we just done a week or two ago where I thought that maybe this was a park insert and I still think maybe it is very very similar with the windscreen and the height now there's a hollow rivet on the Storm King where there's a it's not hollow on the unmarked lighter but the springs appear almost identical different markings of course But, someone had suggested in the comments to that video that the Crackle Paint lighter was a Storm King. And I'm not necessarily saying that it's not, but that insert will not go in the Storm King lighter. Not even close. And if you put the Storm King insert in the unmarked case, it's pretty loose. So, very similar designs. So that didn't really answer any questions for me there. But I am going to clean these inserts up. These two cases that I've got here it's not really anything exciting about them especially this case here this one this one that's a little older maybe and it's not that it's in horrible shape it's just the hinge is a little loose I don't know we'll see but I'm definitely going to clean these inserts up they're all good inserts that can be used. I'm very interested in, as I said, uh, this looks like a much older park insert with the tubing style cotton on the bottom rather than the felt pad. I think I'll be able to just snip that, pull that wick up and cut it off and use it as it is, hopefully. Same for these others. That one looks like that wick may need some attention. I may have to take it apart. This one's going to need some help with that plastic flint spring screw because that 
splint tube is obstructed but that wick looks okay so that may work out all right we'll have to see anyway stay tuned and we'll see what kind of projects we can get these lighters to into in the near future we would appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms Facebook Twitter Pinterest and of course eBay that'll be dependable flame or dependableflame.com until next time